Well, hello, hello, and welcome to Florida for Funshine. Pretty soon, uh, we'll be uh, going out, uh, putting together uh, some fishing videos in our Yamaha High Pressure Direct Injection and our Century uh, 2300 boat. We just did a maintenance on it, and I just want to cover a couple of things in reference to flushing the motor and how to make sure that you understand the components in your cooling system. This motor is a six cylinder. It has two thermostats, one on each side uh, of the boat here. That's right there. If you remove that cover, you will expose the thermostat that's inside. And sometimes they do need to be changed. Um, you don't want to wait till you have a problem to change them. It's better to change them while they're still running. You need to check them, take the cover off. This side of the, the starboard side of the motor is cooled by that uh, thermostat as it opens and closes based on the uh, temperature of the motor and you do have a sensor here um, thermal switch which uh, you see here that makes sure that you are aware uh, with your gauges that your motor is running uh, in the temperature that it needs to run the water circulates in a jacket like this and this is what happens when you don't flush your motor or you don't flush it correctly uh, you will get that corrosion in your um, heads and you don't want that so basically the motor sucks water from the ocean goes through the thermostat and it cools the entire engine and then it has your sensors that it lets you know that something is wrong if in fact something is going wrong uh, if not then everything uh, runs smoothly you can kill an engine uh, by an overheating Now one of the signs that your motor is running well is that you're going to get water. This is called a tell tail and water will come out of there as your engine is running uh, indicating that you have water flow in your motor. At home you put the earmuffs, make sure you flush it every time you come back uh, from a trip. You get the salt water out and you get any contaminated fresh water. You know, even if it's fresh water, like I said, it's important that you flush your motor on every trip. Now there's a, another way of flushing your motor is on the port side of your uh, motor where there is a hose that you can remove from the motor and to that you attach a garden hose and you run water through that uh, particular hose. I'm not particularly fond of that uh, method um, because I'm, I'm concerned about the thermostats being closed and the motor not running to create that temperature that opens up those thermostats to let the water flow. So um, I welcome any um, enlightenment on that because I'm not sure if, if uh, water does go through uh, the cylinder heads there where it actually uh, flushes the motor, especially in that side where the uh, water does go through. Uh, to cool it when in the motor is on uh, but does it go through there without the motor running to flush it because the thermostats are closed so again put in your comments there uh, you know your suggestions or what you know about this because uh, my guess um, is that the water cannot run when the thermostats are closed and the motor is not turned on and running at the temperature so anyway this hose is very practical. Uh, you can do it when your uh, boat is in the water and uh, you can flush um, and run water, fresh water uh, through the engine just like you see here.
Now remember, it's important that once you're done, you put that hose back in its place in the motor. You don't want to leave that hose hanging. Not a good thing. Alrighty, and for this part, you know, I suggest that you talk to your mechanic or whoever is servicing your uh, engine uh, to see if they approve of this or if they like this. I personally think it's uh, what I need to do in order to get a better flow uh, through the muffs uh, when I do flush my motor uh, at home or wherever I need to flush it uh, out of the water. I remove these grills. Um, you know, when you place the muffs over these grills to flush your motor, I kind of feel that it restricts the flow of the water that needs to go into the impeller so the impeller can push that water up into the motor. Uh, I believe it leaves air pockets. So what I do, which is a simple screw, it's a Phillips screw that's on the other side. I'll show you uh, the other side in a few minutes. I unscrew this grill and remove it. I remove those grills and then I place the muffs over the uh, the hole there and then I flush my motor. I found it uh, to be more efficient. I get a better water uh, flow not only uh, going up into the motor but you can see that it fills up all the cavities in the lower unit where obviously uh, and eventually it reaches the impeller which pushes it into the motor. So here I am removing it and it's a simple process. Let me show you the other side. Uh, that's the piece from the other side and this is the port side uh, view of how it looks like when you remove uh, the little grills, the plastic grills. Then simply I place the uh, muffs over those holes just as I would do it with the grills on and uh, turn on the water and then turn on uh, the motor and I feel that the flow is I mean much much better I don't think it hurts the motor I actually think it, it works uh, much better uh, when it comes to running the motor and flushing the motor more efficiently uh, when it's uh, when you get home so here it is Now remember to put those grills back on before you go out into the uh, water and you're definitely going to have fun. Well, I certainly enjoy bringing this um, video to you. Hope you learned something about flushing your motor. And, you know, on another note, I'm really thankful for everybody that watches and likes and shares and the subscribers that we have. Not too many, but you know, this is a hobby and we just enjoy uh, sharing this time. I hope that everything that's good and prosperous comes your way. Flavor of Funshine, signing out.